Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, welcome back. Or if you're new to the channel, hi there, I'm Phil. I'm Jen. Together, we make up Jen Tea, dedicated to bringing you guys authentic tasting grade Chinese tea and accurate information about Chinese tea and its culture. At this time of the year, as the holiday season approaches, we just can't stop thinking about holiday teas. Right, festive teas. Mm. We see them all over the place. Usually there's a bunch of stuff in them, you know, like an eggnog latte or cinnamon? that's a coffee, but you know, <laughs> tea version, tea version. Right, cinnamon is pretty festive mm. Mm. and it's warming. Though personally, I don't put uh, any spice in my tea. I do have some teas that I feel is very festive and I really, when I think of holidays, I think of those yeah, teas. Most definitely. I feel like I need a hair bit. Whoa. Okay, this is a very exciting topic for me because I really have teas that I'd like to share and it's a, a little bit uh, untraditional, intraditional? Non-traditional? Non-traditional, whatever. Non-traditional, uh, you know, not spice related, but I feel it's mm. really warming and it's, uh, um, it's cheerful. Right. And uh, it's traditional at a certain point. It's a black tea. Yes, and, pretty um, traditional, but. Yes. Okay, yes, it's Inho number nine. Mm. I have been obsessed with this tea recently. Like, a, it's just, it has that uh, poor, like a Dian Ho Na kind of a plummy, yeah. uh, richer, like a heavier style, fruity. Rich but and full. Absolutely. Mm. And it also has that uh, floral to bring this profile of the black tea to the cheerful side. Mm. Yes. And it's full bodied. Cheerful. It can. Like if you drink that by itself, it's totally so smooth and with a sweetness in it. Yes, it's yeah, lovely. I totally agree. Smooth, warming. It's just got a, a mouthfeel is divine for mm. that tea, mm. which makes me think about like when you say black tea and festive, I have to agree a hundred percent. The warming side of black the tea. The warming is side really... and the beautiful, beautiful red liquors. Even the liquor is mm. festive. You know, and the, that makes me think of one that I would choose would be more of a late night treat to myself kind of black tea, which is a really exquisite treat, which would be ginger and may, right? That right. sweet, perfectly balanced taste in the mouth. The, mouth, the whole, every, every bit of that experience is divine. That would be sort of a, a spoiling myself kind of treat, maybe a the tree is all set up and everything's ready to roll and it's pretty late and just before I kick back, I know I usually have shoe puar, but on a treat night like that, I might treat myself and cross my fingers that I can fall asleep. Mm. Well, I really agree on that, that the holiday, I want to spoil myself and course, I want to be as you should, bad, right? like, <laughs> you know, you don't want to go to sleep early, have a good sleep, you want to stay up late and right. have some fun. And for me, it's like, um, I definitely want to, a little bit of luxury, rewarding myself right. That's by where the I was end going. of the year. Of course, especially you know, this year, right? Especially Everybody this year. Everybody's after a whole, this year. whole year living in a cage kind of <laughs> right. <laughs> feeling. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Lock I want to. Yeah, I want to do the shopping that I, I want to do. Right? Not mm. to think about I'm not going out, so I don't right. need new clothes kind of situation. Mm -hmm. I still want to get the shopping down, get the you know some really glamorous tea that I'm right. too cheap to have regularly. During the normal time of yeah, the year. Yeah, but this is December, not to mention it's my birthday month. So I'm like, I mm -hmm. have the old excuse to- Even get dressed up for it. Yes, to spoil myself the <laughs> whole month. So, so what um, is it? I'm definitely going for one of our supreme teas. Oh. Um, the Rou Gui Hui Yuan Ken. Oof. I love how mm. it has the element of spice. Yes, it again, right? Cinnamon. It's got those cinnamon, the traditional rogue right. cinnamon. But, but it has the hui yuan ken, it's in the ken, mm. so it's really, uh, it's soft, it's elegant, it's silky uh, even. The texture oh. is so good. It, it wouldn't be royal a, almost. Absolutely. Mm. It wouldn't be the party tea. You want to share this tea with your friend virtually or in person if, yeah. a, uh, if possible. Yeah. Somebody who knows tea, loves tea, yeah. appreciate that scent. This is a pretty close friend, I feel. This is an exquisite tea, right? With the, yes. that rogue cinnamon, but all the sort of 
boldness that we expect in a rogue way is just right? so wonderfully packaged with a floral overtone it's a mm. really perfectly balanced rock tea that's a great choice absolutely uh, or yeah. just some personal tea time by myself mm. uh, just enjoy that but yeah like you said spoil yourself i think yeah that's yeah absolutely yeah. but if i'm around you better invite me <laughs> of course we can't talk about the festive season without talking about big meals and indulging <laughs> in treats and all of those great food related things mm -hmm. And that makes me think about a tea that I want to maybe not necessarily pair with a meal, although it could be done, mm. but at least something after the meal, you know, when I'm feeling super bloated and my tummy is swollen. And I I'm, have one tea for that too. Right? And I'm, you know, really? Okay, perfect. And <laughs> I would normally go with, for that kind of a scenario, I'm going to go with a shampooar like 10 times out of 10, mm. except this time. So I guess it's like 9.9 .9 times out of 10 or whatever. But now... For this festive season, I for the festive season in general, I would go with something that's more um, a little toned down than a shampooar. So I would lean towards my old favorite Shui Xian rock tea. Oolong still has that nice lighten up my tummy feeling. In general, Oolong is pretty good for a darker darker season. I mean, colder season. Uh, right, right, mm. and not to mention it's got that great. Uh, mineral dark chocolate tobacco it's oh i shouldn't talk about cigarettes right but it's sort of like an after dinner smoke but without the cancer <laughs> right it's just that sort of great clean up your palate and clean right. up your just de ungrease you kind of we say that sometimes yeah. we, in our house we say oh we're greased out if we have a big heavy meal and we're just too full. right right yours is still pretty elegant mine is the guilt release tea which okay. is uh, okay is <laughs> <laughs> Guilt from too much eating? Yes, oh, and okay. eating too much dessert. I don't know why it's oh. cold. I gravitate towards sweet stuff and I just mm. love, you know, Japanese cheesecakes and egg tarts and all oh, those yeah. sweet stuff and just so good. But after I eat that, I feel like, oh my God, I eat so much uh, sweet, like so much sugar right. today. So I need some, I often brew up some uh, food one. Oh, and just the drink sense because of the golden flower so i yes. was like okay help me out with that sugar i know anti-diabetes tea yeah and i'm ready for more <laughs> nice. that's a great choice and not only that but uh the fujuan premium i don't know if that would be on your list but that mm. has that little cocoa element that i love oh, right, that right, right, gives right. a little it, festive twist yeah it mm. does have that cocoa thing mm. yeah but but I'm more like a, like a help me go Just flower. save me from the sugar, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Right on. That's a great choice. Ah, oh, I forgot about that cocoa note. Yeah, I will try some uh, Fujian Premium next time. I just need to figure out what's my next one. My last one is, again, kind of related to eating. Festive, time, festive times always have lots of eating. You have to, right? Right, you have to. So... Um, but this one's not really related to solving the eating problem. It's just something to go with eating. And that's just a nice, I don't know if I want to call it a utility tea, but just a nice, black, again, a black tea, right? They have that sweetness. Mm -hmm. They have that beautiful liquor. Dian Hong with my breakfast. You know, you have more time during the holidays to make a breakfast. I like to make a big breakfast and have some tea yes. with it. Yes, we have and a low a, and slow mm, breakfast. Sometimes eggs benedict, sometimes just... Uh, waffles whatever we happen Dian to be doing goes well with all goes good with everything stuff. if you like to have milk in your tea it can handle that i don't personally just and then you can just make a big pot of it or put some honey honey yeah and make a big pot and just yeah, sip I really it with love your breakfast sweet now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you need that food one badly yeah. <laughs> so those are some of my favorites for the for the holidays mm. i love your choices i really i'm gonna throw food one onto my list too i think that's a savior for the uh, when the candy comes out and of course, that's all the tea we're going to spoil ourselves and our loved ones with. Mm. But we should also think about if we're giving any gifts of tea, what should we lean towards? It's a gifting right? season, right? It's a gifting season after all. So mm. um, I think collections are just perfect for that. That was on my mind too, mm. like the first thing. Because we have some small collections like a butterfly, which uh, has six different teas from each tea category. Yeah, I like to call that one a tour of China in a, little in a cute little box. Beautiful. Right. And they're individually uh, packed loose leaf tea. There's not much commitment. You can give that to mm -hmm. your friend who is not much into tea, but would love to try something out. Yeah, have a, have a big tour of all the categories. Mm -hmm. We also have the adventurers, which come in uh, four varieties, dark, oolong, black, and green. And those are for 
the tea lover that you know who loves a specific kind of tea. Four different kinds of a specific tea all in one package. Again, loose leaf, all weighed out, ready to roll, drop it into your cup, into your gaiwan, into your whatever, mm. and enjoy. And I really like the economic side of it. Those are gifts under $20, so mm. uh, it's yeah. really nice little box. Great secret Santa, right? Oh, yeah. Mm. Saw stocking. Stocking stuffers as well, also really good. You're great with the... Uh, I almost said a socking. Socking? <laughs> that's the thing. No, stocking. Only stocking, okay. But that's good. You're but really that's good. socks. That's socking. why I was saying mm. socking. <laughs> that's a good one. Another great one, if somebody is already a little bit more into tea and kind of one of your friends who's a fellow tea lover, or if you're looking for somebody who is a tea lover, and you've heard them mention our channel, our master kits are great. The master mm. Process, which is a dark tea set, which has carefully curated teas to highlight the differences in process for dark tea. And we have a master oolong set. Again, carefully curated teas that highlight the differences of cultivar. Mm. These are for your advanced tea friends. Yeah, I have to emphasize yeah. it's a more advanced. Mm. Otherwise, when they try all the rock teas, it feels like three same teas if they just oh, get really? into tea. <laughs> right. <laughs> And another trick that I like to use on the, in the festive seasons that's related to tea, and this isn't really, I know this is a little, this is a bonus for those of you guys who stuck <laughs> around to the end. This is a trick I use on New Year's Eve when I'm, I love to go out, hang out with friends. I don't necessarily want to drink, especially all night long, but that's mm. sort of, maybe you think I'm a party pooper, but if you're, if you kind of know where I'm coming from and you pr prefer to have a clear head, you know where I'm going. <laughs> I do this all the time, actually, not just New Year's Eve. This is a great trick. I just find a corner in a kettle and I brew up some tea and I keep my glass full of a golden liquor, golden liqueur all night long and nobody asks me many questions. And I can uh, wake up with a really clear head the next morning having drunk and hung out and had a great time all night long. Mm. So it's my secret whiskey or my secret beer or whatever. <laughs> and that's often I just tell people, they say, what are you drinking? Tea. And they just look at me like I'm a weird tea nerd, which I am. <laughs> but uh, I love that trick for parties and stuff. Yes. I don't mind having a drink now and then, but I just like to limit it so I can finish up the night with tea. That's so that's a little really pro tip, tip for you guys. Mm, try it out. Well, I hope this video gave you some idea in terms of teas you want to try during this holiday season or gift it for your friends or families. Yeah, absolutely. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you'll know whenever we make new videos. Until next time. Keep, keep steeping. steeping.